Um, yeah, it's hard to pin down. Is uh, people try to write books on on, on like the attraction that surfing had. My dad still surfs. He's seventy five years old. Like I don't know what sport you could do from mm. five to seventy five. There's not many mm. though. Maybe golf or something. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's it's more of like a lifestyle than a sport. And I think um, the ocean must have some kind of uh, I don't want to sound like a hippie or anything, but like, no, sound, some like kind energy of like, or something, you <laughs> like know what energy I mean? Energy or something that, that, that keeps bringing people back and like looking back, yeah. like I was never the best competitive small wave surfer. Um, I used to get quite fun when I saw all the guys with their Billabong stickers, Quicksilver stickers, and but I didn't really have any sponsors. And I mean, you're so focused at the time. It's, it's sometimes hard to have perspective when you're like 13 or 14 and be like, okay, mm. actually, I'm not as good as other guys when it comes to small waves. But uh, I really enjoyed doing the competitions and um, I never really did that well. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, the, I'm not like a small wave kind of ripper or anything. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a meditation. You know, you sit people, a lot of people are into meditation right now and I mean, obviously, it's an ancient practice, but you basically sitting quietly and breathing, and and that's pretty much what you're doing when you're surfing. There's no one around; you're just sitting on your board, kind of in nature. There's no phone. There's no one to talk to. So yeah, it's it's a it's a form of meditation, and I think that's also a big thing that draws people back. You know, you just go out and meditate for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> Still probably the most competitive guy, but all the guys I do last thing with are not a 20, 21 that I train with. 22 and they were all like freaking out about jobs and like stuff. I'm like, I mean, it's hard to say at the time because the culture puts a lot of pressure on you, but I mean, don't, don't worry about it. Like it's, yeah. you've got your whole life to figure it out. Like go and travel, go and have fun. Like you can work your whole life. You don't have to decide when you're 20 years old. I don't know. Uh, to me, and I'm sure a lot of parents are thinking I'm crazy, but I don't think that. No, uh, but going straight into that is, is, is necessarily a good idea. People always ask me, I'm like, well, I could, now that I've been doing this for a while, um, I could start working at 50 and work for, and work, do something for 10 years, for a decade, yeah. I could work do being yeah. an accountant until I'm 60. And then I could change and be a lawyer until I'm 70. Like you don't have to, I don't think you have to put yourself into a box like that you're going to do one thing your whole life. I guess I'm so bored. <laughs> And I had no money. I mean, I had nothing. I didn't come with any. I thought I was going to stay in this house. I thought this whole TV show was going to happen. <laughs> so I was like, I need to work. And the next day, they're like, no, there's no work. The economy is tanked. No, I don't have, like, the guy was like, we don't have jobs. And I was like, well, I have to find a job. Otherwise, I'm not, I'm not going to eat. <laughs> and then I, yes. down the road, there was a pizza place. And I, that day, I got a job at, like, busting tables at the pizza place. And, yeah, it was, that was the start of the journey. I ended up staying there for three months with Jeff, and we, yeah, he's one of my best friends now. So yeah, it was pretty crazy. Oh, Thailand, oh, okay. um, and my friend James, like two weeks before, was like, "Hey, you want to sail from Richards Bay to Thailand?" I've never mm -hmm. really sailed much before. And I get out phone my dad, and he's like, "Yeah, it's, yeah, I definitely do." It sounds like a trip of a lifetime, and I was yes. like, "Pack my bags," and then there I went. I'd never done any sailing, and uh, yeah. That was, <laughs> Three, it was three months at sea. We sailed from Cape Town to, I mean, from Richards Bay to Madagascar, Madagascar to the Maldives, the Maldives to Thailand. Yeah, it was short. It was insane. Yeah, eh? so, um, My engine broke or something, hit into Madagascar, and we're stuck in this town called Helville for, <laughs> for a couple of days. And then we went around Madagascar, and we hit this huge, huge, huge storm. And I just remember, like, I was on watch from, like, because someone had to be watched 24 hours a day. And I was on watch from, like, uh, four in the morning to like six in the morning and I was just like it was a 40 foot catamaran I was strapped in and a pitch black I can't see your hand like this and just like going up these huge waves and oh my like god going down the other side and like waves breaking on top of the boat and I'm just oh. like Fuck that. <laughs> yeah yeah well you have to be like eternally optimistic because it it never looks good at the time you know? <laughs> like it's, mm -hmm. it was never I never, when I set out, was like, I'm going to be a pro server. It never even seemed possible. I was just doing it because I, I didn't know what the end goal was, you know? At, at the end, I was like telling people I was a pro server just because at that, at least then, like five years into it, I'd figured out that like, maybe this is something that I do want to do. 
Yeah, my morning routine hasn't changed for years, but uh, I'm a pedantic about I have lemon water, like hot lemon water, every single morning. Uh, as soon as I, when I, when I wake up, I have lemon water. Um, I like lemon, obviously. I mean, you can Google the benefits. I'm not going to run through them, but there's hundreds <laughs> of benefits of having not just lemon, but just warm water. It's really hydrating. It's good. For, it's good for weight loss. It's, it's a acidic lemon, but it alkalines in your system and like, you're sleeping for eight hours so your body isn't ingesting any kind of food so it's basically been fasting the whole night and if the first thing you have is caffeine it's like quite a shock shock to your system an acidic shock to your empty stomach no i mean i'm a surfer you know like i think a lot of people get that wrong too like yeah i'm a big wave surfer that's but i'm a surfer the waves aren't always big the waves are big yeah like surf down just three or four times a year the, the, the other 360 days you have to still surf. So 98% of the time you're surfing small waves and just being in the water and then you're getting ready for like, yeah, like you're checking swells. Like there's a good swell for, for uh, Indonesia next week that I was looking at, but, and uh, yeah, I broke my back. <laughs> so, uh, I was surfing this wave called Riley's and I pulled into this little barrel and a tiny little wave like this big and landed seated on the, on the rocks, cracked my ulti vertebrae. No ways. And the wave is at the bottom of like this 300 foot cliff. And no like, way. I didn't have, uh, I don't think I had medical aid. So I was like, bro, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call a helicopter because I don't, I'm not gonna be able to pay. Like, it doesn't have people overcomplicate everything. Like, when you yeah. look at pollution and stuff, plastic pollution, that's what I said in that video. Like, if you just see something on the ground, just pick it up. Like, that's all you have to do. You don't have to, try and stop all the pollution in the world because that's unattainable and, and you're always going to let yourself down. But if you just, you just do little things mm. and, 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 you know, I love that quote by the candy, it'll be the change, you know, like, yeah. yeah. what else can you do? You, you can't affect other people and what they do, but you can do something every day that, you know, makes the world a little better place with it. Oh man, those two guys, the making the film was, um, when those two guys came to Cape Town, it was, yeah, it was, I was also in tears there, like, yes. um, Mokete and Tabu there. They'd never had a shower before, bro. So they like, we got them in Airbnb in Camps Bay and I had to show Tabu like how the shower worked because they don't have anyone. No way, but Yeah, it was deep, eh? Wow. Waking at dawn, packing the